the Kalahari Basin spans two and a half million square kilometers of Namibia, South Africa and Botswana. It's an ancient land which has barely changed in tens of millions of years. This stability has allowed life to take risks, experiment with one another and forge incredible alliances. In the southeast of the Kalahari are creatures which are endearing, intelligent, and highly social. Meerkats. For them, it's all for one and one for all, especially when new life enters the world. Four pups were recently born and at this tender age are very vulnerable. So they need constant protection, which is why one of the clan is tasked with looking after them day and night. This young female was recently appointed helper by the lead female. It's a big task, as it's her first time in this role. All the adults in the clan, including the pup's mother, spend most of their day out foraging, sometimes far from the den. This also requires teamwork. Sentries are posted to keep a lookout for any danger, while others hunt for prey. It's very organized and efficient. And if there's any danger, the sentries will sound an alarm, warning everyone of the threat. Today, things seem peaceful, but not for long. A serious threat is looming. At this time of year, thunderstorms can strike at any time. The adults instinctively run for cover. The inexperienced helper is also fearful. She must make a big decision whether to move the pups or leave them in their burrow where they could drown. But moving them is also risky. They might die from the cold. She decides to stay put with the pups Instincts were right. The storm hit some distance away. The pups are safe and sound. So too the adults. The calm after the storm and the welcome sun. This is an important time to strengthen the family bond. <laughs> Teamwork is everything in meerkat society, and you can never let your guard down. Especially 
if you're the babysitter. This deadly cobra is looking for shade and heading straight for the pup's den. Its venom is highly toxic. The young female sounds the alarm to mobilize the clan. There's no way she could tackle the snake on her own. Fortunately, it stops in one of the burrow entrances, and there's no time to lose. The team has a plan. While one group diverts the snake's attention, another goes to a different entrance to move the pups. It's a delicate operation. They're so young and defenseless. Two or three well-coordinated adults perform a high-risk mission. It's a life-defining moment, saving these four vulnerable individuals. Half of all meerkat pups die before the age of one. Thanks to the babysitter's alarm and the teamwork of other clan members, the pups are safely in a new section of the burrow. But the young female still has her work cut out as in a month's time, the pups will leave the burrow. She'll need to teach them to hunt for themselves and who to trust. It's going to be a big challenge and a new chapter in all their lives. West of the Kalahari, the Namib Desert has been waiting for rain for three long years. The land is parched and empty. The riverbeds dry. For desert elephants, nothing could be tougher. The survival of the herd depends on the matriarch, who takes them big distances to find enough to eat and drink. This family of five is led by a 21-year-old female. She's the mother of one calf. The other isn't hers, but it makes little difference as everyone is important. Her support is unwavering. No one is left on their own. Every day, the matriarch needs to find 200 litres of water and 150 kilos of food to produce enough rich milk for the calves. But at this time of year, most of the food available is old leaves and bark. And with temperatures reaching 50 Celsius, the desert can be brutal. The matriarch and her calf are also struggling, but they can't afford to give up. 
They must stick together and keep looking for food. The matriarch has an excellent memory. She knows that along the dry riverbed, there's a special tree worth investigating. The Anaboom, a lifeline in the desert. These trees produce a bumper crop of fruit near the end of the dry season when the elephants need it most. But the first pods to ripen are high in the canopy, beyond the reach of even this big male. He tries a gentle nudge, careful not to damage the tree, but with little return. Chakma baboons also love to gorge on the seeds. So the matriarch waits it out. Until the food comes to her. Why the baboons actively drop some fruits remains a mystery. Perhaps it's because they're not yet ripe. Or maybe the baboons are just messy eaters. No one fully understands, but many different animals benefit from this without any tension. The Anaboom is the tree of life the centerpiece of this community where every living thing plays a vital role. And by forfeiting some of the seeds to the elephants, the baboons also benefit, because the elephants are a big deterrent for any predator. But that's not all. The elephants deposit any undigested anaboom seeds in their dung, sometimes a kilometre or more from where they ate them, helping to plant a new forest. Even the seeds that are yet to germinate are a precious source of food for the community. Elephant dung also helps to fertilize the soil, and it takes a nifty little creature to do the dirty work. The dung beetle. To seduce a female, this male first needs to fashion a dung ball a thousand times his weight. He must now find a suitable place to bury her and the ball. Not easy on this terrain. Finally, after mating, the young will hatch underground, the dung enriching the soil. All species here, large and small, plant and animal, play a crucial role in this huge chain of life. It's fundamental for everyone's survival. 
Without all these collaborations built and refined over millions of years, the Kalahari wouldn't be the Kalahari.